Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick from The Great Adventure and we are camping this week in Apopka, Florida at Magnolia Regional Park and we just pulled into our site and as we did in one of our last videos we showed you how we tore everything down for our trailer and got ready for a travel day. Today we're going to show you the opposite, setting up at our campground and making sure we're all settled in for our week-long stay here. The first thing that we check once we get pulled into our site is to make sure that we are level from side to side. Today we are off by one and a half degrees, this side being lower than the other side. So we're going to set down two blocks on this side, back up and make sure that we're level side to side so that we're not walking crooked all week long. After we're level side to side, we put these guys in. These are the scissor jacks that go between our wheels to make sure that the trailer does not rock at all once we unhitch, which we've almost dropped our trailer a couple times before we got these in. So they definitely go in every time. Once we're leveled and the wheels are chalked to make sure that the trailer is not gonna be moving anywhere, now we get to start the unhitching process. With the weight distribution bars that we have on our trailer, which help distribute the weight of the trailer onto the truck so that it doesn't sag too much right in the middle, we actually have to raise the trailer up a little bit to ease some of the tension on the chains before we can remove them so that it doesn't just pop off and hurt somebody. trailer now we are off by one degree front to back so we got to lower the front of the trailer before then we can put down the stabilizer jacks to make sure that there's no shake in the trailer as we're walking around on the inside. Before we put the slide out on the trailer, we always make sure that we put down the stabilizer jacks just to make sure that we are stable so that if something does slip while the slide is going out, we're not going anywhere with the trailer. But then once the slide is completely out, I go around to do a double check to make sure everything is completely tight and ready to go so that there's no bounce in the house while we're here for the week. Time for the slide. We just got our 30 amp power connection turned on for the RV, so we're set to go. The air conditioner's running on the inside because it is humid here in Florida, as always. The only thing left to do is connect the water and sewage. And on our trailer here, our water and sewage connections are on the back, but at this campsite that we're at, those are all the way in the front. So it's a good thing that we have extra hose and sewage connections in order to extend that so that we can get it from all the way to the front to the back because it's a good 20 to 25 feet.
And finally, getting to the part that everyone loves the most, connecting the sewer connection from your RV to the campsite. Now, we typically only have two sewer hoses with us, and that's because most of the time, that's all you really need. Uh, but for campsites like this that have the sewer connection all the way up to the front, sometimes you will need a third sewer hose. We found that out the hard way a couple months ago when we checked into a campground in San Diego and had to go out to Walmart to buy an extra one. So. Uh, make sure you always have your gloves handy when you're doing this. You never know what you're going to get uh, just to make sure that you keep things a little bit more sanitary. Every week we stay at different campgrounds and some of them are better than others, some not so much, some of our just RV parks. But this week we've got peacocks just wandering down the road. This is pretty incredible. And that's going to do it for our setup video. It typically takes 25 to 30 minutes to get quick. everything set up and ready to go much quicker than actually packing things up. Uh, that's because we don't count all the setup time on the inside that we typically do. It's typically once we get the hoses hooked up at the very end, that's, that's the end of it. We also got our rug out there, our table with our grill as well towards the front of the RV since that's where they connect to the propane. And he put out some lights. And I put out some lights, which we typically don't do. So. It's nice. Thanks. I like my twinkle lights. <laughs> That's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any tips or suggestions on how to set up your campsite better than what we do, because by all means, we're not experts. We've been doing this for 13 months, but we're always learning new things as we go. So thank you again. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we hope to catch you on the road.